Welcome back to the paddock area as we get you ready for Derby 143. And the craziest thing has happened. The sky is starting to look a lot better and it's not raining. Hallelujah. Look, it's not every day someone starts their life halfway around the world and they end up with a Hall of Famer in two sports, both in rodeo and in this, the sport of kings. And it's not every day that you're a trainer, but before that happens, you're with a trainer who wins two Kentucky Derbies. Let's go to the backside and introduce you to a really nice man who's very patient, Ian Wilkes, who has McCracken. Yeah, someone said that yesterday. The someone journey that to that America, the road to the Derby, wasn't something as a kid Ian Wilkes could see. Yeah, I grew up on a dairy farm, you know, of all things. How's that? You know, milking cows to a horse trainer. How's, how's that one? <laughs> As a teenager selling racing programs in Australia for five bucks a day, Wilkes got hooked. Australia's fun, you know, it's, it, it's, you know, it's, you'd love to be there, you know, you'd love to still be, it's great when you go home, but then, but this is life for us here now, you know, and I'm enjoying it here, but uh, fun down there, it's football, cricket, sport. Ian is now a citizen in two countries. Growing up in Australia, he always wanted to come to America and work in the industry. He had a friend who worked for Carl Nasker. He called and got a job. He was with Carl when Carl won both of his derbies. And believe it or not, they still talk every day. I better, you know, show him how it's done, hey? <laughs> <laughs> McCracken is still fourth. McCracken was undefeated going into the Toyota Bluegrass Stakes. Coming off a long layoff due to an ankle problem, McCracken didn't fire in the stretch, finishing fourth. With the win, he'd be the favorite for the Derby, with the media all over Barn 26. Carl Nasker's two Derby champs also lost the Bluegrass Stakes. It just takes a monkey off your back. You're not unbeaten now. You don't have that pressure. You know, you find you put some a little bit of internal pressure on yourself in, in trying to stay unbeaten. You, you, you don't want to do that to the horse. Wilkes is old school, plus he's calm. Although this is the chance of a lifetime, and he believes in his heart that one of these days he's going to win the Derby, his attitude is exactly what he needs to have, not just for him, but for McCracken. The whole thing, you have to enjoy it. You you can't, why are you going to get, why am I going to get up, you know, get wound up, get upset, give myself ulcers, you know, what am I going to do that for? You know, you, you just got to have a level playing field. The horses thrive off that. They, they like the atmosphere around. They like the calmness about it. And and I, I think a happy shed row is a good shed row. Happy shed row is a good shed row. I was talking to Carl Nasker just yesterday and he was saying, hey look, Ian is my family. They are that close. And Ian tells me that Nasker is like a grandparent to his children. This horse is bred by Janice Whitman. It's interesting, her husband started the business. She's in her 80s. She's from a tiny town in Kansas and they breed like eight or 10 horses a year. That's it. And they've already won the Breeders' Cup Classic and now they're in a the derby. It's a lovely family. And Haley and Chris, I'm telling you, if you got to know these people, you'd say, they're just really nice folks and they have to be running in the first Saturday in May. Back to you. Of course. Alan, thank you. When I tell you I could listen to that to Ian's accent all day long, I'm like, can we keep that package going? That accent. Oh, love Very it. Very nice to hear. Plus, you can hear the passion in his voice, just how much he loves doing what he does. So That's awesome. Right. Alan, great story. Thank you very much. And every year.